Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Bomb Tag Championships Ultimate. The second quarterfinal match is upon us. This time is between Farm and Irma. Kanto will once again be watching us from beyond the grave after donating his spot to another guy named Mr. F, who will be facing Pengu later on. Hopefully, he will show up. I know that Pengu will. But yeah, this will be between Irma and Farm.Mullah. Now, according to some speculations, Farm.Mullah might be Bomber uh, Bing Bang Boom, also known as BJJ, who was a finalist in the previous tournament. If that is the case, then Farm.Mullah should be the winner here because Farm is really strong. Now, I'm not gonna assume. I'm not gonna guarantee that that is the actual case, but it seems likely at the very least. Also, Irma did get a free pass from his group. He, he was in group A that ended up being a free win for Irma and Pengu, because you know, literally two people showed up in that group. Farm takes the first game. Irma goes, hmm, wondering what to do about that. Farm just kind of enjoying his green sludgy path of spooky penguin times with his interesting skin of choice. A penguin with a mask on. But, uh, yeah. Farm, if he is the guy that we think he is, they did get to the finals in the last tournament. They did end up losing to Pengu, but if they are who they who we think they are, they are a really strong opponent and might end up getting to the finals once more. But Pengu, I already talked about this, but yeah, Irma had a free group. Nobody in Group A showed up. Well, I say nobody, but two people ended up showing up. That's Pengu and Irma, and they are the two players that ended up actually advancing here. So Irma and Pengu got a free win. Pengu, understandable, you know, she is really strong. She plays really well. She might get to the finals once again, even. That's a draw. Irma's bad, that, that's fine. I just wonder how well Irma is going to play. Irma is a higher rank, but this farm guy definitely does have the hours behind him, so farm is no slouch despite their rank. Kamikaze doesn't work here, yeah. Kamikaze works in 2v2. I did that a lot. It was very fun. Domo was very proud of me. Some other people were probably probably proud of me as well. Merwin was probably a little bit mad. She was like, man, is this legal? I'm like, yes. Yes it is. Our team wins. It's it's still definitely legal. It's really strong, but unfortunately in 1v1s, Kamikaze is not a valuable option. <laughs> you have to play your games correctly. Okay, Irma has the items and Farm does not have the items. But Irma is not taking the chance to be aggressive, just letting Farm farm. Letting farm farm? Okay then. I mean, that's very gentlemanlike, I will say that at the very least, but... This is a thousand dollar tournament, you should be taking it a little bit more seriously. I mean, if you got a chance, if RNG presents itself, you should take it. And Irma is drawing lines from behind, which is not a good strategy to, to do. Was that a wrong direction slide? That might not have been. When you hold diagonally, you will slide sideways to the left and right. That gets prioritized above up and down. So I feel like if he had hold diagonally bottom right, he would have slid into safety, but he ended up sliding downwards instead. Maybe thinking that that would be a safe spot, but it wasn't. Irma is uh, getting slayed right now. It's looking very similar to Dudo versus 
macro right now, where Dudo just made made uh, macro look like a clown. I hope we don't get another 4-0. I do want to see Irma perform well to see what his uh, good, to see what his uh, best is. I want to see what Irma's style of choice is and what his best plays would look like. But unfortunately, farm is just actually destroying him harder than anything I've ever seen before. Well, okay, Tudo destroyed Macro a bit harder, but you get the point. This is looking to be very one-sided once again. Can Irma pull himself back and get at least a win on the board? Or will Farm walk away with what looks to be almost a free victory against Irma? Well, not free, but you get what I mean. I do wonder what their stories might be behind their skins though. Farm being a penguin with a mask and Irma being literal Groot himself. He is Groot. Or maybe it was supposed to be something else. That's one thing that is always very interesting about players and why, why they choose their skins or why they choose their usernames. I wonder where they get them from. I mean, I can kind of imagine where Irma... Okay, farm, that was very sad. <laughs> I mean, it's bound to happen. They can happen every now and then. So that makes farm 3-1 against Irma right now. Farm is still in the lead, but Irma... I would say pulling it back, but that was farm doing... Giving... That was farm just donating, donating a free game to Irma. Is Farm going to choke from here on out, or will Farm pull himself back together and no longer do that? I mean, I do hope for good games, so I do hope that Farm will bring himself back together and not choke in a tournament of this caliber. But also, if that's the way to even out this series, to make sure that Irma has more of a chance, then I, I guess, I, I don't know. I, I still hope for good games. I want a good show, Kanto wants a good show, everyone everyone wants a good show. And Irma is once again just letting this guy farm. That might be Irma's downfall, honestly. Letting farm farm up the items that he really wants. There's really no need for that. You can't just, you know, murder your opponent with bombs really fast if they lack the items. I know people that do that and Irma just gets nine. Oh, okay, that's that's just... It's a 4-1 but it more felt like a 4-0 because farm just kind of donated one game. That was... That's a silly, silly match.